Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the first video. Uh, we'll be discussing the flight factor support system um, and how to properly set it up. Most of it is very self-explanatory, really don't need my help. There are a few things that we have noticed um, over the past years on what people tend to do and what we hope you do instead. Um, so that is why I'll be going over it real quick uh, just to have an insight to make us, our lives easier for the ticket system and to make it easier for you guys as well. So of course, um, to get there, uh, you can either Google the Flight Factor support system directly or you can go to their website or to our website, contact us, ticket system, and you'll, and you'll be forwarded to our support center here. Open a new ticket, very self-explanatory. And the first thing is our help topic. Depending on what problems you have, if you face any issues with any of our products, you would want to check uh, the Flight Factor support. If it is X updater that you're having issues with, choose the updater system support. Next, depending on what you select, you'll have to choose the product name as well as the subject. So self-explanatory again, I'm going to pretend that I have an issue with the AT20. And here are the subjects. Everything is self-explanatory. However, I do need to cover or I want to cover the last two topics here. First, I need help with flying my product. We are a ticket system that are, we are very, very uh, open to helping everybody with their problems. However, helping people fly the product can be challenging and time consuming. This is why we have created this channel in the first place so we can help people um, fly the aircraft and also debug the aircraft on their own so that possibly they and we can save time um, to help those who really require um, a lot of help. So if you do select this topic, do expect us to revert you back to the forums or to a video that we either we, all, sorry, we ourselves made or someone else has made or also the manual. Uh, please read the manual. It is very crucial to us. A lot of people miss a lot of information by skipping the manual, which I understand that reading the manual can be a bit time consuming as well. But once you understand what we're trying to do and what that manual says, um, it'll be better for you and for us. Save a lot of time in the end. So, so about I need help with flying my product. Uh, you can expect us to forward you to either the manual or the forms for that until we make a video about it and the next thing is i found a bug in the product now this can mean anything whether it be software bug or if it's just a bug for example the aircraft is not functioning the way it is supposed to like in the real plane if it is the second thing so it does not work the way it's supposed to like in the real plane we do ask that you please provide us for one the log file, which I'll get to in a second in more detail. But most importantly, please provide us with images of proof that what you're saying is true. We totally support uh, submitting bugs that have to do with the aircraft not functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, however, if you don't provide us with any background knowledge um, from where you've got this information from, we cannot help you any further. Um, there's really nothing we can do there. So please either give us an image of the page or s upload the manual or whatever you uh, you were reading and the page number as well or or uh, a video or whatever and please give us the timestamps, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Please make it simple for us as well as for yourself. Um, if it's something that has to do with software, so there's an actual bug that makes the airplane not flyable or something like that, uh, please write step by step how you were able to produce this problem and so we can reproduce it and see whether if this is user error or if it's truly a bug that we need to fix so please um, provide us with all the information you can about the log file we have got some people saying um, that they don't see the requirement for us to need the log file um, they're questioning our methods and I promise you there's way more information in that, in that log file than you think and that we can take from or information from that will help us as well. So please, no matter what subject you choose, no matter what issue you're facing here, always provide the log.txt file. Provide it in your main explained folder as you can see here. It is very important to us. Please drop that file for us. 
and it can really help us out. No matter the issue, please do so. About the log file, um, it, in order for it to have all the information we need, you have to upload the log from the session from where you experienced the bug. So every time you restart explain, the log file resets and relogs everything explain does. Makes sense, right? So if you experience a bug in explain, please close explain or by the end of your explain session, upload that log file. Otherwise, it will reset if you if you choose to up, uh, launch explain again. The rest is self-explanatory. So that is those are the very important key parts that I wanted to go over. Log file number one and providing us with the steps to reproduce the problem that you face and or uh, providing us with any documentation or any information um, that helps us improve the simulation of the aircraft. Just one little note to add, um, which is a very important note, is that you please put in the correct email address that you used to purchase the product, which means that the key and the email address correspond with one another. This makes us be sure that the key has not been stolen or anything similar because we do not provide any support for stolen keys, which should be obvious. So please make sure that you use the correct email address and uh, not a fake one or nothing that does not correspond with the key. Thank you. All right, the rest is also self-explanatory. So any issue summary, so a title, whatever you want to title it, please make it you know, understandable as well as um, writing what problem it is. It is also very important to us that you write in English. Whether you use Google Translate, it does not matter to us, but please help us by writing everything in English. It makes it much faster for us, and um, we don't have to take our time to go to Google Translate ourselves and translate everything. Very simple stuff. Create the ticket, and you should be getting an uh, sh you should be getting a response within the next forty eight hours max. If you do not receive a message or a response in 48 hours, we ask that you do not create a new ticket, but please respond to your old ticket. So just open up your old ticket that you had and just write in it again. Just write something else that, hey, um, it's been 48 hours. Please help me with this, inf uh, with this problem. With all that covered, I hope you have a nice introduction to the ticket system. Um, I'm sure some of you already are very experienced with it, but just in case I provided you with some important information that we've noticed that were that have been noted by us that we wish that would change um, in the future. So thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next couple of videos. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful day. Also, just another side note, if you do have any additional questions about certain things, I do have a frequently asked questions page here on the forums to head over to here. Go to forum, go under the commercial vendor support and look for flight factor. Then under flight factor, click the support guidelines, frequently asked questions. You should then be able to like any of the topics that isn't is of interest to you and you have a question about, and we may have an answer for you.